Welcome back. Uh, I've just finished making a touch probe for Sally the Sile over here and um, rather than show you the touch probe uh, because I haven't finished editing it I thought I'll just show you how I made the stylus. So uh, let's have a quick look. Next up is I'm going to have a go at making my own touch probe. Uh, I've got a piece of silver steel that's eight millimeters in diameter for the base. Um, one of these bars from a DVD player will make the stem and there's a six millimeter stainless ball bearing in the uh, in the packet of bug and bariums. Right, here's my eight millimeter um, silver steel chunk that I'm going to make the base out of so uh, let's put this in a collet chuck and uh, get on with it. I think I'm going to, um, I could single point cut that which would probably make sense. No, I'm just going to use a die and see how we get on. I thought I'd show you my um, tapping adapter. It's uh, just a chunk of steel uh, with a ball handle as we say here in Norfolk. Uh, this end is, is bored for small diameter uh, dies and this is larger diameters. When you get the, the really big ones, I tend to do those by hand anyway. Um, it's really simple. The, the centre is bored out parallel uh, and it has a little stub mandrel that fits in there. And this stub mandrel on this end is, has got a crude MT3. So, uh, so basically it's very easy to... Um, keep concentric threads while you're doing these by hand. A drop of splurge. You just have to push it to get it engaged and then it's a very simple tool to use this. I really, it's not well made, I really ought to make a better one. But uh, like all these things, it's getting around to it. Okay, I have scribed a line at the required length of this little part. So there we go. Just tighten that up and I'll turn that down to that. I don't know if you can see that, the little tiny line. That's where we're going. So uh, I'll do that and then drill it out for the three millimeter rod. Right, I don't hold out on this being too concentric, but uh, the whole thing with these touch probes is that you can you can dial out the errors. There we go. Let's use the stock to push it in. There we go. Progress so far. Just need to cut it to length and, um, and fit a ball at this end. So this is where we are. There's the embryo touch probe and I need a ball on this end. So this is, this is um, how I've come up with doing it. I'm absolutely not sure whether this is going to work. Uh, but this rod is six millimetres in diameter so that fits nicely in the collet. And then I'm going to push the ball in on top of that. Now that's the setup. Now, of course it won't go on. Yeah, I'll have to take them out and put this on first. But um, then I think I'm going to use um, flatten the end off, and then uh, drill it and open it up to a the same three millimeter fit that I've got here so that I can then just push it in and lock tied it in place. That's the theory. Let's see if it works. There's the ball firmly trapped. Uh, I've got a, ooh, a uh, an insert in for cutting aluminium uh, basically because I get a good finish with it.
Who would have thought that was possible? Uh, I'll give you an idea of scale. There you go. So I've flattened the end of my ball bearing. This is bound to fail. This is the cheapest, crappiest carbide. carbide cutter uh, that I bought off eBay several years ago and um, every single one of them has broken. I couldn't even cut plastic with them so uh, let's see if this works. I think I know the answer. <laughs> yep. I knew the answer. This is a two flute proper carbide end mill from a reputable manufacturer. Having said that, it's quite blunt on the sides, but the end seems to be quite sharp. Let's have a go with that. another go with another cutter. This is a let's see if I can get that out for you. That is a one flute three millimeter um what do you call that? Is it an end mill? I don't know. Anyway uh, let's uh, see if this does the job. It did cut, but it cut undersized. So I can't tell how much it breaks my heart to do this, as well as breaks a cutter. This is a four flute, three millimeter, brand new end mill. Cost me half a kidney. The question is, was it worth it? Blimey, it actually fits. Right, I just need to um, face this off again because it's I've uh, raised a burr with one of those earlier cutters. So uh, I'll just get rid of that and then we'll have a look and see what we got. All right, there we go. Let's um, just turn it over. Look at that. Whoops. <laughs> That's going to be a problem, I think. Blimey, we'd buy that, wouldn't we? Right, so uh, what I need to do is just cut this bar off to the right length, which I'll do with a Dremel through the... The, the length isn't that critical, but um, it's too long as it is. So uh, I'll just whip it down to a smaller length and then uh, we'll glue that bit on. And uh, for those of you who really want to know, this is... Focus up. Uh, in the UK, a company called APT. Uh, that is the end mill that did the job, just in case you need to know. Oops. Well, there we go. Chuffed a bits with that. One. DIY probe. Well, here it is, the, uh, the probe. It's uh, got a standard uh, tool holder fitting for my mill and uh, it's um, connected via a, a phono and all that the probe does is ground, the, uh, ground to the case. So if I connect it up, there we go, you can see it working and if I just touch it, I mean, 
there's not a lot of movement in that before it disengages. So that's enough of that. Let me um, just whip the probe off and hopefully that out of the way. There's the probe. Uh, it's a six millimeter ball bearing, a hardened steel shaft from a DVD player, uh, a little bit of scrap silver steel and um, because this is a solid one there's every possibility when you crash it into the work it's going to break at that M4 thread that's on the end. So uh, this boss, um, the spider as I call it, is actually uh, a clean through hole and uh, on the end here is a saw cut so if I get it stuck in there I can dismantle the probe and screw the screw the stud out from the inside so uh, there we go here we've got it uh, connected to Mac 3 there's the digitized pin so uh, if I just touch the probe it picks it up excellent that's it Thanks for uh, joining me on uh, making this uh, probe. There is a new probe design coming out. Uh, this one is quite difficult to um, uh, break. Normally these things have a ruby ball on the end and a, a ceramic shaft uh, tube or solid ceramic. And when you hit the work too hard, you break them. Uh, and if you're anything like me, you could break two or three of them in an afternoon. So um, yeah, enough said. Uh, so a cheap alternative for a, for a breakable one is a sensible thing for, for us model engineers to do. So uh, bear with me, uh, there's another one of those coming out and there's also a video coming out on how I made the probe body. That's taken me quite a while to get working so uh, you'll have to bear with me. The video is nearly done, uh, it'll be out hopefully in the next week or two uh, and the new, and, a, and sorry, the additional probe video will be out as well. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, take care and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.